Jack Levangi back with Bruce Fenton here again, talking about Bitcoin. And, and Bruce, let's let's just get into it. I mean, how does it, it, I've looked into it a little bit, but how does Bitcoin mining work? Okay, so mining. One of the first things people do after they learn the very very basics of kind of what Bitcoin is, how it works, basically internet money. Mm -hmm. uh, then they hear about mining, and there's kind of a drawback with that because people sort of early on when you kind of dive in, into this, people sort of get obsessed with mining, say, oh, I'm going to become a miner, I'm interested in Bitcoin. Yeah. Almost everybody, when they first decide, wow, this is a big deal, this is going to change the world, I'm going to run out and get a miner and become a miner. I don't necessarily recommend that. Uh, these days, to be profitable at mining, when you first, Bitcoin first came out, you could make uh, what is now a fortune just with a laptop. Now you absolutely can't do it with your regular computers. If you if you go and spend a couple thousand bucks on a specialized computer, you, you really can't really make much money on on mining. You may not even break even. All right. To to make money on mining, you've got to probably invest hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, because it's so competitive now. And anyway, let me get back up for a second. What mining is? Okay. Mining is basically the verifications of the transactions in Bitcoin. There's something called the blockchain, which is a list of every single thing that every transaction that has happened in, in Bitcoin. So if I if I take money from uh, one Bitcoin address and give it to your Bitcoin address, that goes on a big list. So we have a transaction. If you're giving me money through that, you're, yeah. you're paying me through that. So that goes in that list, sort of like a checks and balances type thing? Yeah, every okay. transaction is on there. Now okay. they don't know it's mine, they don't know it's yours, it's just numbers. Oh, right, because you, you have a routing number, right. for not, not a real routing, but you know what I mean, that's how they would track yeah, it. Yeah, and that's how they know that your money is there. It's kind of like, if you were to say, we talked a little bit before about central parties where you said Bank of America or somebody like that can yeah. verify, do I really have the money? I've given it to you in a check. You've cashed the check or deposited the check in your account. Now you really have it. All that is is a ledger. It's just a ledger that if, if I have a Bank of America account and you have a Bank of America account or whatever, sometimes ledgers between banks, all they're doing is taking a note and saying this thousand dollars came from Bruce. Now it's a Jack's. Okay. What Bitcoin is, you say, well, wait a minute. What, why do you need those guys to, to have the ledger? Uh, why not just publish it? On the, in the town square, so to speak. Okay. And you have yeah, a big yeah, yeah. book sitting in the town square and you can write what everybody owns. Well, town square is not that practical. How about you throw it on the internet? Great. But what about privacy and mm -hmm. security? Bitcoin solved the issues of privacy and security by making it so that everybody can access Everybody knows that it's really there. This, this Bitcoin address and this Bitcoin address, it is in a, essentially a ledger in a public square. Because that, that's all that, that banks really are. Okay. When you, if you have, if you're a, a billionaire or you have a hundred dollars and that's in your Chase account, all that is is a ledger. The money's not necessarily even sitting there. And even if it is, right, they, it's not sitting there in stacks. Yeah. yeah. And even if it was, they wouldn't know whose is who. It's just a ledger. So yes. all this faith that, that we sense. have in banks, all it is is a piece of paper. It's just an accounting er entry that somebody says, Jack's money is this, um, you, you know, this billionaire person's money is that. And... That's, that's all it is. So and, say if all the billionaires went into a bank and wanted to take all their money out, they wouldn't have that money on hand. Yeah, that's a separate issue. They, they, they definitely don't, <clears throat> don't have the cash. They don't even have the electronic equivalent in, in usually cases. That's a whole other topic. But Sorry. Yeah. There's, there's actually, it's called fractional reserves. There's not actually enough money in the banks. But <clears throat> So back to the topic. The, so this ledger, basically what miners do is verify this ledger. Every single transaction that happens, they, they verify. Now... The other thing that mining does, it, and the reason people do it, is because that is the way that Bitcoin is entered out into the public. So when the designers of Bitcoin decided, how do we issue this new currency to people? They said, well, how about we reward these people who are doing the mining? Because that's a valuable uh, thing to keep the network alive. You have all these Big millions step. of computers out there uh, verifying the transaction. So they said, let's, we'll issue... Um, you have 50 bitcoins every 10 minutes to somebody who mines it, and then it went down to 25, and it'll keep decreasing. Almost like an interest, uh, and they make money off of interest. Yeah, not so much interest, but more like... Oh, the banks make money off of it. Yeah, more, more proof of work. It's more... Okay. If you're proving that your computer is out there crunching, crunching, crunching numbers and verifying these transactions, basically, uh, you get rewarded with some bitcoin. Okay. And, and, and so in the old days, it was really simple. You just whip out your laptop, download some Bitcoin mining software, say, I verify all of these transactions, bang, I get 50 Bitcoin. And there's people who did that and they got thousands of coins yeah. really easy. These days, if you want thousands of coins from mining, you're going to need 
millions of dollars worth of computing because it as we as the number of coins rewarded goes down also the difficulty goes way way up you can definitely not do it with a regular computer i don't recommend somebody spend a couple grand to like try out mining because you're very 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 unlikely to make that money back if, if you're really serious about mining you'll you'll know it you don't you'll need some you'll be beyond the you just can't scope. download an app yeah if, if you're if you're ready to uh, really do serious profitable mining, you're already beyond the expertise of this video and you're just watching it for fun. Um, because the serious miners, go, go, go on there and do a search for uh, industrial mining, look at some of the photos. If you're okay. prepared to do that, designing your own uh, chips in China by the hundreds of thousands, hiring a designer, putting it in a huge warehouse, having cooling and efficient power, negotiating power, things, th then you're able to mine effectively and make money on it. Um, but you can actually verify the transactions kind of that, that you could do for fun, but right. just, just don't, don't think of it as, I mean, it's fine if you want to take an old computer, spend a thousand dollars or, uh, you know, put something in your, in your basement, verifying transactions, just don't think you're going to make a bunch of money on it. So, so that's what, what mining is basically. It's verifying these transactions and it's also in tandem. It's the way that Bitcoin are released to the world. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Cool stuff. Thanks for joining us.